All right, so I told y'all this before. I love working on GMCs. They make this shit for every GMC I've ever touched in my career. Every last one of them, easy, bro. American cars, easy to fix. That's just like out of all trucks, Freightliners and Kenworths are easy to fix. But I love GMCs. But come on, y'all. Come on with me. So let me show y'all where this drain plug and shit is. Hold up. So the drain plug, like I'm going straight underneath the truck. This is your drain plug. I already took the filter off, but pretty much the filter is right here. I already took it off. So oil changes and brakes on cars, trucks, it don't fucking matter. This is the easiest fucking thing you can do to any vehicle. This shit is not hard. That's why I be like, motherfuckers bring their shit in here. Like changing your oil is hard to do. Oh, and it takes a size 15. A size 15, you need a size 15 socket or wrench and some fucking filter this filter pliers like you pretty much you grab you grab the filter and you twist it off so you get yourself some filter wrench from your local parts store you have a size 15 socket or wrench and hopefully the last person that changed this oil didn't strip your plug because that makes life so goddamn difficult if they fucked it up Damn, I need another uh one of these, but I'm gonna just have to do this the next oil change. Cause if you keep reusing that, eventually that will leak. So So I'm gonna let this sit for like probably about 10, 15 minutes until I don't see nothing dripping. Cause I try to let my cars when I change the oil drip to the last drop. Like I said in the last video, this thing, this GMC Sierra 1500 sle it takes eight quarts but if you're going to use an oil treatment you get seven quarts of oil in your oil treatment and if you get a perlator the part number is pbl 2250 yeah so and remember when you put the new oil filter on make sure you put some of that old oil around the filter and make sure the old filter is off of the before you screw it on because that will 